Hello, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have something incredible lined up. I'm going to show you how to speed up your renders by two times. So at the end of this video, you will know how to save some time in Blender and get the exact same results as you would have. But first, before we start, I just have to say something. Uh, I'm going to be away for some time. I'll still upload like uh, one video a week, but it won't be uh, two videos a week and no shorts anymore. I have to focus on my exams, so I hope you understand. And that's the talk, let's get into the video. So I'm just going to show you a scene I've been working on. In this scene, if we go to this camera, uh, I have this duck and it's an animation of about 180 frames long. And if I want to render this, let's just grab one frame and render this. It's done now. We can see it took about a minute to finish. So if we now grab our calculator and type in one minute uh, times 180, is 180 of course and divide this by uh, 60 minutes that means three hours for the entire animation but what if i told you it could take one and a half hours so to get this we can just go over to our output settings here and as we can see um these are just the default settings i have my resolution and my percentage and the frame range and here the output we're going to do something really cool which is we are going to set the step to two and use AI to interpolate our frames. So what step two does is it basically just renders every other frame. So if I press render now, it starts at one, as you can see there. So it will render frame one, then skip two, then render three, and then skip four and so on. So we want that so, the, so that we can interpolate and we want to set our end to uh, one frame more because if we interpolate uh, 180 frames that are two steps, then we would get 179 frames, which is not like exactly what we want. So just 181 and it will do the trick. And you can just uh, remove the extra frame later, um, but we can just set the step to two and you can render this now, which I've done. A helpful tip for this is I wanted a missed pass um, but I wanted it in a different file format. So I went over to the compositing, use notes, and you can add a file output. And then you can grab this miss note and plug it into here. And you can set the folder destination. And if you go over to this node and click on it and go to the node, you can see this properties and you can set the uh, image file. And I did this for the mist and combined. So I would have two folders, um, one with the mist and one with the combined. But that's for a different video. If you also want a video about optimizing the render settings, you can leave a comment down below and I will check it out. The next thing we need to do is just render this and I've already done that. Uh, so once you're done with that, you can just open a new file and open the video edi editing tab. So when you're done rendering, what I usually do is go over to uh, DaVinci Resolve, go over to this media tab, go over to where I rendered my video and I just select everything and copy them over. But this doesn't work since this only uh, works with if your file names are like uh, image sequences. So one, two, three, but we have no two here. So this doesn't work. So we need a different method to do this. So if you go back to Blender and open a new file, you can go to the video editing and now we can add a, and now in the image editing, we can go over to add and add an image sequence and just navigate to the place where we saved our render. You can just shift to select this and add image strip and we can set it to the beginning. And now we can see our animation. And if you can see the water pulsing in this video, uh, it's because I messed something up. I contacted the polygonic um, makers and they helped me out. So this won't be in my final render, but for now I'm just using this image sequence because I have it. Anyways. Uh, something else we need to do is set the resolution and if you can't remember your resolution you can just go over to you can just go over to the source tab here and you can see the resolution here so mine is 1920 by 800 and it will have the exact same resolution and we can change the end frames which is 180 um, but we rendered it with two steps so we divide by two and just because we added one frame, we are going to add one frame here as well. So 91. You can also just find the end frames here if you can't figure it out. But this is our clip right now. 
and something we need to do is just click the frame rate and set this to our frame rate uh, our current frame rate so that's 12 because we want uh, 24 but right now it's 12 so just set this to 12 and now it has the exact same length as what you want because otherwise it will just be sped up and now we can add a output which you can just go to a folder and click ffmpeg video and under the encoding mpeg4 so it's an mp4 you can hit render animation and it will output it there but i've already done this so i'm going to go over to the next step and the next step is to go over to the link in the description and you will end up here you'll end up here uh, at the itch.io page of the flow frames uh, video interpolator you can just hit download now and no thanks just take me to the downloads you can click download here and it will download. A problem I had is that when I downloaded this, it was just before midnight. And when I set it up, uh, it has to connect to a server. But I think the servers close at midnight uh, in here in Europe. Uh, so keep that in mind. I, I couldn't use the program until the next day, because then the servers were back up or I just uh, got out of luck with when I did it. But anyways, just keep that in mind. Once it's downloaded, um, it should look like this. It's a really small window, but it should work. You can go over to the interpolation and click a browse video here and click the video you just rendered. It will get to the input resolution. And now you can see the output FPS is uh, first it's 12 and then times it by two is 24. You can also just do times it by 10. It will output in the same folder, which is fine for me. And you can change the interpolation AI models right here but the default just worked for me uh, i have an nvidia though so keep that in mind you can hit interpolate here and it will start this doesn't take too long in my experience only like 30 seconds uh, but the first time it might need to download any ai models which you can also just download in advance which i did so it doesn't take any time at all as you can see now it's interpolating 181 frames and it's almost done it's now just encoding the video and it's finished so if we go over to our folder we can see we got this result which you can double click and just view your render in 24 frames per second there's absolutely no noticeable difference it's exactly the same as it would have been if you rendered it in full so remember this is 181 frames i hope you found this video useful if you did leave a like and subscribe uh, leave a comment with what you want to see next um i'm guessing some other ai tools for textures in blender or if you want to see the optimization video you can leave it in the comments as well you can go over to my to support me there and i'll see you in the next one bye